hello everyone and welcome to another video so in this video i'm going to talk about some of the things that i've done to improve the life of my modem as well as the power adapter that powers the modem so here is a couple of things that i've done with this modem as you can see on top of my modem you can see i've installed or i've put some aluminium tracks these tracks are basically uh, tracks used for in sliding doors and windows or sliding glass doors or sliding uh, uh, glass showcases so what I've done is I had these uh, strips extra so I used a hacksaw to cut the strip uh, in size and I used my hand and touched on the modem to figure out uh, what part was heating up uh, more than the other and then I placed the aluminum strips on top of the modem so as to uh, keep those uh, hot spots at lower temperature uh, now I've been using internet for more than uh, seven and a half years now or I have had internet in my house for more than seven and a half years now and in that span of time i have damaged at least three modems and this one is my fourth modem luckily this has lasted me the longest it's been more than uh, two and a half years now and this modem is working very well so that's one thing uh, the aluminum strips that you can do to clean your modem and the most important thing that you can do uh, sorry to cool your modem uh, is that uh, you can clean your modem with a brush so what i do is once in every month uh, once in a month i clean the modem using a paintbrush and i also take out all the LAN ports and replug it in uh, and also clean them at the same time and that prevents any dust and because if there is dust eventually it will get uh, moistened up and that may um, cause some problem in the long run the second or the third thing that you can do to improve the cooling of your modem is you can install a laptop cooling fan as I've done here. As you can see it's got two fan, aluminium base and on top I put my modem on. So what the laptop fans are doing is basically they are, uh, they are throwing air onto the uh, modem and that thereby cooling the fan. So I'm running the laptop cooling fan using a 5 volt uh, USB uh, hub. As you can see here and the USB hub is also powered by uh, adapter 5 volt adapter as you can see here and on top you can see it's my modem adapter this is a 12 volt 1 amp adapter and as you can see I've also installed the aluminum stripes on top of the adapters as well and that also increased the life of these two adapters I have had damaged uh, many adapters but since I've installed this aluminum strip, this adapter has been working for more than three years now. I didn't have to replace it in those three years. So that's a uh, thumbs up from my side. Now, now you must be thinking, why have I not powered the USB fan using the port which is at the back side of your modem? The reason for that is that the modem is getting 12 volt power and to, to run the fan, it will have to convert the 12 volt power from the uh, power supply into a 5 volt output so that we can con connect our 5 volt fan to the USB output and what that will do is that that will make the modem consume more power because the circuitry inside that will convert the 12 volt into 5 volt will have to work more and which will cause much more heating so to avoid that heating I have used a separate power supply that runs the USB fan and that keeps the modem much cooler than if I was using the USB port. Also, if I was using the USB port, the circuitry inside the modem would have to work more and that may also cause the damage, uh, cause the modem to fail much faster. So as you can see, the current temperature in my room is 31 degrees Celsius. This is the ambient temperature. And the reason for that is my room does not have any exhaust uh, vent and that's why in summer, the temperature of my room gets very high and that's why i have damaged a lot of adapters and modems but since i've installed this aluminium uh, stripes as well as a fan uh, i've been able to sustain the life of this modem for more than two and a half years now and the adapter that i was using there for more than three years now one tip that i want to give you is that when you are putting a laptop cooling fan underneath your modem make sure to lift the cooling fan by using some kind of shims so that it is easier for the fan to suck air from inside because if it was touching uh, the table there would be no space for the fan to suck air and this also improves the circulation and if you're running any other fan inside your room this will also help your modem to keep the temperature low so there we go this was some of my tips that i used to keep my modem cool i hope you found this video helpful i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.